Hey guys, Chucky here, bringing you guys a new Yu-Gi-Oh! video, and today we're bringing you a very, very interesting deck. Uh, I've lost a couple of matches, and most of my losses come to just dead draws later on in the game. But, um, you can do a lot with this deck, and it is a lot of fun, and when you beat people, they kind of are mad, <laughs> because they just they don't know what they just lost to. But, uh, let's go through the deck here. We're, we have three Mystic Shine Balls using one of each color. Mystic Shine Ball is good because it allows you just to go for those twos. We can get the Sky Cavalry. Or we can get the Gachi Gachi. So, um, th there's some plays. There's other cards you can get, but uh, those are the two that you're usually going to go for. Two Christia. Of course, we're running Fairies. This is called Fairy Draw, as you can see here. This is the, the name I have given this deck. And um, two Christia is just going to put them off as special summoning monsters and allow you to do a lot of damage. Uh, we have Athena. Athena is going to be our burn card and kind of a game ender and a just in case card. Athena's pretty good. It can it allows you to actually be able to tribute one of maybe your Mystic Shine Balls or something to actually get a, a scepter from your graveyard to activate scepter and activate a chair if you have a chair in your hand. Uh, and then Athena gets to do 600 for each one of those monsters that was actually played there. So you can actually build up a lot, a lot of damage doing this. So, um... Yeah, it's 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 really good. And then we have two Theas. Uh, I might take one Theas out and put something else in. I'm not sure what, but Theas good because if you have it out, you can draw a card if you draw a Fairy Monster. Uh, I may even take both of these out and try to put something else in, but I'm not really sure what I want in. It's just a, a pretty solid card when you can get it out because you can have some dead draws and some stuff where you just need a 2400 attack monster and uh, this could do it for you. We have Thunder King. We don't want them adding cards from their deck to their hand. And um, stop one of their special summon is always good. So good card to have. We have three Scepters. Scepters just going to allow us to dig out our chairs and add it to our hand. And then um, if you already have a chair in your hand, then you can special summon a chair. Get another chair off of this effect. Special summon that chair. So, um, And then you can draw cards. And then when you XYZ with a three or more, then you can destroy a card and draw a card. So uh, it's really good. We've got Gelato Duo. Jelen Duo, I think is how you say it. It just uh, allows you to tribute for the Christia. You can put them face down and not have to really worry about it. Then you go out to Athena, you can go out to Christia, something like that. It's just one of those extra cards where um, the, not being able to be destroyed by battle is really, really strong right now. So definitely a good card to run. Then we have three chairs, of course. We have one Venus. Venus is just going to be getting our Mystic Shine Balls to go off into these level twos. We have two uh, Mathematicians. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep Mathematician in here, but Mathematician can be all right. Uh, I usually end up setting it now because of when I summon it, I usually just get rid of the Scepter because um, you don't really want to draw the Scepter sometimes, and you can switch summon the Scepter with Soul Charge or with Athena. But, um, yeah, it's just... It, I don't know how I feel about it yet. I, I built this deck in 10 minutes, and I haven't changed a thing since I built it, so keep that in mind. Uh, we got Magical Planter because we are running three Appropriates, which we'll get to after. And this is just a just-in-case card if we didn't get what we needed. Um, one Regeki. Regeki is just going to be able to destroy their monsters pretty much and let you go in for game. Um, two de Drag Down to the Grave goes well with Appropriate. Allows us to draw cards, get some of our cards in the graveyard. And it doesn't hurt us, especially if we have Appropriate. Because we draw a card, they discard one of our cards, we get draw a card, then we get draw two cards. So we get to draw three cards for them going and picking one of their cards. And they sometimes pick the wrong cards because they don't really know what you're doing. One day of peace, uh, each player draws a card. And then uh, neither player can take battle damage until the opponent's, in the, or the opponent's next turn. So uh, I can't do damage to them. They can't do damage to me. So um, really good. Draw one card. If appropriates up, I get to draw three cards. So it's uh, really, really strong in that in that aspect. We have Dark Hole, of course. Um, Soul Charge goes really well with One Day of Peace and with the uh, Star Scepters going into Adeltros, you just, it, it's its ridiculous. Two Upsort Goblins because we're running so many other draw cards. I might take one of these out for another Dark World Dealings, but right now I'm going to keep an Upstart. Two Dark World Dealings just says each player draws one card, discards one card, then draw two cards. So, um, yeah, it's, it's really good. One Mystical just to put us through. And two Valhalla's is going to allow us to special summon our big guys from our hand whenever we need them. Or go into the Scepters to get the chairs and then you can normal summon a chair if you need to do that. Or you can normal summon another Scepter to get the chair. So if you have a Scepter in your hand, special summon, get a chair, and you have another one, then you can normal summon that one, special summon the chair, special summon another chair, destroy two cards, draw four cards... 
destroy two of their cards, destroy a third of their card, and then you have such a huge hand advantage, you have such a huge board advantage that you are just so far way ahead that it's it's really hard for them to even catch up. So then we have three appropriate. So whenever your opponent draws a card, not during their draw phase, draw two cards. Um, so pretty much if you use Dark World Dealings, you can activate this card. Or if you activate uh, One Day of Peace, I don't think it works with Dark World Dealings because the discard happens last. But... Um, if, if you use, you know, Drag Down to the Grave or One Day of Peace or Dark Bribe, you can actually activate Appropriate on your own cards after they draw. And then every time they draw from there on, if they use Upstart Goblin, you use Dark World Dealings, you use Drag Down to the Grave, whatever happens, you get to draw two cards every time they draw. So it's just really, really strong, as you'll see in some of the games we'll be going through right in a second. And then we have three Dark Bribes. Dark Bribe really good with Appropriate. Um, stopping some of their spell cards to allow them to draw one card is really not that bad as, as bad as i thought it would be because back in the day dark bribe was a good card but i think it's good again and uh nobody's using it yet so and then we have one solemn warning just to keep them off of monsters because that's our biggest uh downfall then we have uh gachi gachi we have cavalry cavalry helps us take care of cards we can't rhapsody obviously we got cowboy just in case we got emerald because we can deck out pretty easily uh lava lull chain we got Benju, uh, Benjin, Tai, Tusi Kiyomi. <laughs> I can never say it. Exiton Knight, not Extinction Knight. We got uh, Starledge, Palo Dynamo. And then we have Castell. We have Silent Honor. We have Omega, XYZ Dragon, and then two Deltros. And um, this is a, a pretty good lineup here. Um, wrong, wrong one. So we're going to go up against deck thing maybe here. Um, I wasn't sure what this guy was playing. That's why I called it that. So this hand is pretty weak. He has Time Wizard. He has a Chaos Sorcerer. He has whatever Fleffle thing is. And then he has Dark Illusion. I don't even know what that does. What does that do? Uh, activate Spell Trap or Effect Monster. Targets a face-up Dark Monster. Destroy that target. All right. So I'm going to be able to get Goddess of Light out here, which is going to be... Um, a big thing because we get to draw two cards every turn. I, the scepter did go to the graveyard, so that's perfectly fine. He gets the fiendish chain. He has scarecrow, dark illusion, and dimensional prison. Um, he of course has that uh, swords here, and I am just going to be able to get two mystical shine balls to thin out my deck. I'm going to go off for gachi gachi just to power up my guys a little bit and just wait out that. So he's going to go for one for one. Go for copy. Okay, he's actually going to copy him. He does not get the attack boost from gachi gachi because his monsters on your side of the field. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get draw an extra card here again. I have two chairs in my hand, so if I could just get another scepter. He, he's going to actually uh, put the goddess back down with the scarecrow, which I didn't understand. Um, and then he's going to play Jester Confit. He's not going to be able to destroy my duo. He has Fiendish Chain, Scap Iron, and Dark Illusion. So I'm going to get draw a card, and I'm going to get the scepter here. So Scepter is going to get me that chair. Of course, I don't get another one. So I'm going to go out to Deltros. I'm going to destroy that. I'm going to use Deltros. I'm going to destroy that. It's the Fiendish Chain, but I got the Dark Bribe here. So I'm going to be able to get rid of that. He's going to get Eye of Tamius. Um, I'm going to get the Special Summon Christia also, which was pretty good because I had just enough. I am going to attack through all his monsters. He still has Dark Illusion, which is perfectly fine. Um, he's going to Book a Moon my Christia so he can play Chaos Sorcerer to get rid of my Deltros. He's just going to set that and have Dark Illusion still. I'm just going to flip Christia and just go right into battle phase and just to uh, attack. I could go for, out for this um, before I flipped it, but I didn't want to get killed off by that. And he is just going to leave there. So next we're going to go up against Fluffles. Um, Fluffle, Fluffles won a special summon, but of course uh, they're going to kind of have a hard time if I can get out Christia. He does have the Regeki. Um, he's going to play the Curry Bandit and mill some all right stuff, uh, not the best stuff. But he is going to take the trap card, which kind of surprised me, and not the hand destruction. Um, so Christia is going to attack for 2800. I'm just going to end my turn. I don't want to use these draw cards yet because he has such a big hand. It's not going to really hurt him. Plus, I don't have a way of taking advantage of it. He is going to get oh, uh, Frightful Leo. He could have actually did 4000 if he would have went out with that. But that's fine. I'm going to get Christia back. I can start putting some of my fairies into the graveyard. But he is going to actually get rid of my Christia instead of my chair. Which is going to get me the scepter. Which is going to get me double chair. And I'm going to top deck the other scepter. So I'm going to be able to double destroy his cards. Draw two cards. And um, also kill his monster with Deltro. So I'm going to be way ahead here. My draw wasn't that great. I did get the Solemn Warning though. 
So I have a chair, Deltros, and the Solemn Warning down. He's going to play the Owl, which is fine, because I know he's going to get the Polymerization, which I am just going to stop that, because I don't want him to destroy my cards. He's going to have a Frightful Crane out there, which uh, I'm just going to go for the Christia, get the Scepter back, which is so strong. I'm going to destroy his back row, and there's not going to be anything he do can do, because that's going to be game there. So next we're going to go up against Umbras. I think that's what they're called. That's what I named it. Umbras are those zero attack guys. Um, here I'm just going to get rid of the Scepter. I'm going to play Solemn Warning. I have a Scepter in my hand. He has Reincurring Nightmare. See those guys. Uh, let's see if he takes it. Yeah, he takes it. So it's Umbral. Umbral. Okay. So he's. Uh, I know he has the Gores in his deck because this was game two, I think. So I'm just going to attack in Solemn Warning just to get rid of that. And uh, be perfectly okay. I'm going to set my Jalen duo because I know he's not going to attack this after. Um, he's not going to be able to get two monsters out really anyways. He's going to set all these, which are pretty scary cards. I'm going to go out with the Christia, switch the defense mode, had the Dark Bribe. He has the Fiendish Chain, the Mirror Force, the Fiendish Chain. So he's in a pretty good situation here. I am just going to attack into it because I do have that Dark Bribe. I know he can't chain Dark Bribe off of him using Fiendish Chain and me using Dark, uh, or uh, Mirror Force off of the Dark Bribe. So that's why I did that there. He is going to get Fire Hand off of this, which is pretty annoying. And uh, he used Mass Chameleon because, I don't know. Um, I'm going to put Regeki down so I can do that. He's going to get rid of my chair. I'm going to get Athena. Um, so I got Star Scepter and I got Mathematician and Christia out here. He is going to use the Fiendish Chain on that, which is going to be kind of annoying. He's going to go out to Stardust to be able to kill me. Um, I was kind of surprised he went out with Stardust over anything else. I am going to draw another Star Scepter and just end my turn. I have the Regeki, of course. So I can go into something after. He's going to get these two out. He is going to go for the Castell, not Silent Honor. I would probably want with the Silent Honor there. But it's fine. He's going to attack and put me at 200 life. Uh, I don't need more than 200. So he has the Mirror Force and he has the Wiretap. I just have Regeki face down. I draw the chair. That is all I need, folks. Um, I'm going to be able to do this. Put out Athena. I'm going to be able to go for the Star Scepter here. Which is going to get me the chair. And the chair is going to get me... An, or the, the Scepter is going to get me another uh, chair here. So I'm going to be able to special summon the chair. I'm going to be able to do 600. I'm going to special summon the other scepter. I'm going to go for Deltros. I'm going to destroy his two back rows so I can draw two cards here. I'm going to be able to destroy his Castell and attack for game. Yeah, that's right. Uh, nothing he could have done there. Um, next, we're going to go up against Mass Change. We faced the same guy twice, but he was using different decks uh, and it was games apart, so it's pretty interesting. But. Um, yeah, so first he's using Mass James. He has a pretty solid hand. He can't really complain, except then he draws the third Mist. It could have been worse. could have been three Malicious. I've been in that part. So he's going to go for that, which I'm going to Dark Bribe and actually use the Appropriate here. So um, he has the Miracle Fusion now, which is a good card for him to have. I'm going to set the Gel and Duo because I don't have anything else. I need to stall out for a turn. He goes for the Lawful Chain, which is perfectly fine. He's going to get the effect to get Blaze Man. I'm okay with that. He's going to attack, just going to stop that. And I am going to draw a Dark World Dealings here. So I'm going to be able to draw, just get rid of that, draw two more cards. I draw the chair, so now I'm going to be able to go off here. And um, especially summon two chairs to get my Deltros. I'm going to use Upstart. I'm going to set my Dark Bribe and my Regeki to get the Appropriate, which is going to allow me to get rid of his Miracle Fusion. And he is just going to quit the game there. So uh, pretty funny. And next we're going to go up against this Satellar deck. Uh, I get a really, really solid hand. He does have the Maxi. If I had Appropriate activated when he had Maxi, I would have special summoned everything in my deck just so I could have uh, gained all that card advantage. So I'm going to be able to draw one card. I'm not going to use the other chair's effect. He is going to go for the Deneb. Um, he's going to Mystical Space Typhoon. He laughed here because he didn't realize it was me. Um, he laughed, but I, I, I put up that appropriate. He is going to use the Sky Bridge. He's going to get the Vegas, but he's not going to go for the alt here. And he's going to go into the Diamond, which is perfectly fine because I don't have uh, any worries about the Diamond here. So I'm going to go for the Dark World Dealings, which he's going to get called the Haunted which is going to not activate the Deneb first because it doesn't come into effect uh, right away. So I'm going to be able to draw a bunch of cards here and just keep getting card advantage um, for every one of these cards I'm playing. I'm drawing extra cards. I'm going to be able to go into the Deltros, um, destroy that back row. I'm going to destroy that, but I did top deck the Mystical Space Typhoon off of the destruction of the card, so I'm going to be able to kill that, and he is going to leave. I had a disgusting hand, still had the Soul Charge, still had the Dark Bribe. 
there would have been nothing he could do. Next, we're going to go up against OCG deck here. We're going to go up against the, the newest pack that is came out, or is it already out? I don't know. But it is going to be a Shadow, um, Seraph, Stellar Knight deck. So I'm just going to Regeki that thing away. Uh, it ends up being a beast. He has no cards in his hand, so I'm going to be able to go out straight away for my Deltros, which I'm going to be able to destroy his back row just in case and destroy one of those monsters. I have six cards in my hand. I have the appropriate. I have the one day of peace, though. I don't want to use it until uh, maximum value. He does get the seven, so I should have destroyed the one and uh, would have been in a way better position. So he's going to go off for the Castell. Once again, surprise, not Silent Honor. Silent Honor is always better than Castell, in my opinion, unless you're getting rid of a back row. So he's going to set a Hedgehog and a Falco. I'm just going to go for the Soul Charts because I know if I do this, I am going to be so far ahead that it's not even funny. Um, so there we go. I'm going to be able to do that and destroy his cards here. I'm going to play the One Day Apiece to get the appropriate to activate the, the dealings. He um, is just going to discard stuff. It gets its effect, I guess, so that's kind of annoying. But uh, I needed one more in the grave, and I was able to get it. I'm going to be able to get my Star Seraph back, set Dark Bribe, and Solemn Warning. He can't do anything. What's he going to do? Um, I didn't want to attack into that, or I couldn't attack into it, so I'm just going to destroy it because I don't know what this is, and I don't want it to be... Um, Dragon, I think, returns to the hand? I don't know, but I have Dark Bribe, Solemn Warning, and Dark Bribe. So I am so far ahead. He's going to go for Deneb. I am perfectly fine with him going for Deneb. He cannot do anything so i'm going to be able to go out to my scepter just to put me over on that damage so this deck uh i think i've lost three i've won more than this but uh i think i've lost three so um i'm doing pretty good not counting the ones against nick and stuff like that but just against random people so um i think it's really fun it can be changed to make it a little faster so i'm definitely going to work on that but um yeah so if you guys want to try a really fun deck Try this deck. If you like drawing cards, play this deck. It is really fun. But anyways, guys, I will see you guys later.